So we got part two of the PAX Day building FAQ with some more gameplay, this time night footage. So let's go through the FAQ real quick. It says you mentioned plot several times. What exactly is a plot? Portion of land that a character can claim in the open areas for building. It's circular, vast enough to build a house of reasonable size and a couple smaller structures. And you'll be able to freely pick the location in the heartlands and see a preview of exactly what the area you're getting is like. And we know the circular plots, when combined, become square. So that's the advantage of working with others. How big are the heartlands? They're creating a separate content package about the world and that will be covered in detail there so that's interesting some future updates are coming heartlands are pretty big and there are many we knew that already how much can i build on a plot they haven't yet determined how big the plots are going to be so they can't really answer that you can build a lot on your plot but you also have to work with your clan to use the combined land in your clan's pots as smartly as possible. No doors or signs are in yet, but they're eventually going to put them in. You can build on water, but there's limitations to how far into the water you can build. The bottom of the lake must be close to the surface. So that kind of clarifies that from the previous FAQ. I was under the impression you could build pretty far out into the water, but that is wrong. You cannot build far out into the water. You can't build outside of the heartlines what about pvp this is the question i had so maybe they watched my video i don't know you can't do it in the current game version they want to do it eventually but pvp building destruction that works in an mmo is highly challenging to have work in a way that creates a good gameplay experience so they haven't made it yet basically we're working towards of having a solid core game at launch this i love because obviously i'm following ashes of creation and i feel like they do not only focus on the core game and they focus on adding in features like the console system and just small little details that don't necessarily need to be in at launch like yeah it's great that the grass moves with combat and all these little things it's not that they've had scope creep it's that they have a huge scope and they want each system to be just tremendous and highly highly polished and have all sorts of little detail at launch whereas this game is taking a different approach we want to have a really good core game launch that and then we'll add things in later now there has to be enough within that core game to support the player's full loop of progression and keep people busy and not be a boring experience. but So it's a balance, but we'll see where they go with that. PvP building is planned for a game update. So not at launch, but in a future update after launch. So that's I'm fine with that. Having said that, they want to have high-stakes PvP in the game launch version. So there will still be high-stakes PvP, just not involving buildings, as they say here. They want the base game to be enjoyable to even those that don't participate in PvP. That's fine. Even hardcore PvPers need a place to rest. Yelp agreed. Does the game have roads? Yes, they have roads and we've we've known about this they have a pre-made road network roads are intended for travel and you can't build on the pre-made roads all those things we knew access controls in the plots there's access control for the items they don't have a feature to restrict people from walking on your land but you can build walls so theoretically your clan could wall up the village as people did in the middle ages can i build on other players plots yes depending on who allows you to do so and most clans they expect to basically allow anyone to build what if a griefer builds a plot next to mine or my own clan's plots um yeah that's a common question they understand that this could be an issue and they want to ensure that our players have the ability to resolve these conflicts so there's no pvp and no destruction of other buildings in the heartlands so interesting to see how they will make that work um, they have extensive experience and we are aware first in the challenges that players can face can i modify the ground in the plot um there's no we don't support this but you can build foundations that allow you to flatten the land and there is a height cap they don't want you to make skyscrapers as that really wouldn't fit in the middle ages environment that the game is in are the building pieces final the video doesn't show all the blocks and we're still iterating on exactly what blocks we have so assume everything is subject to change can I get more plots? In the current game, each player just has one plots, but they will eventually add ways in which you can get additional land. I'm curious of the mechanics of that, how that's going to work. Is it a quest you do? Do you pay gold? Um, those are the questions. Okay, let's go check out this clip of the nighttime. So it's the same area, it's just at night. And the first thing I will point out is the nighttime does not look... It's not like super dark, not like I thought maybe it would be. I mean, it's darker than most MMOs. And in the buildings, certainly it's pretty dark and you will need lighting in there. And people have pointed out, people just turn up their brightness and their gamma and 
their video settings when it's dark anyway, so that's true. There's no real point in making it incredibly dark because people just work work around it. I like I like the level of, of brightness at night. I think it's I think in the forested areas it looks like potentially it could be somewhat dark where you might need a torch or something or just turn your gamma up. But it's the same area. Um, a lot of the same things. I think the night looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I'll have all this linked in the video description, guys. The video and the Discord for PAX Day. If you like the video, consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.